Hey, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J. And actually today I am in the office. It's actually a time when I didn't really plan to record and I was sitting here working on a specific thing coming up really soon. And I was feeling so excited and just so led by the Holy Spirit. And I was like, I gotta share it with them what the Lord is telling me, and then I gotta invite you in on this, okay? So if you're new here, boo, I drop videos every Monday and Friday here on my YouTube channel. I talk on faith, fashion, and fearlessness, okay? So your girl's Morgan Tracy J. You should know the fun now. Subscribe to the YouTube family if you haven't already. I am actually tired today. This is a really beautiful day here in the office. It's so beautiful outside. I'm here by myself. And I am talking today about my Esther Fast testimony. The reason I wanna to talk to you about my Esther Fast testimony is because girl, I was seeking the Lord on what do we, how do we end out this summer's fearless season? How do we end it out? And the Lord said a fast, a corporate fast. This was not in the works, this was not in the plan, but you guys, we are doing our corporate fast. We are doing our Esther Fast and this one's series or this one's niche is focused on breakout. That's the word the Lord gave me. That's going to be so good. I hope you're ready. I want to invite you August 7th through the 9th to join me and hundreds of more ladies on a corporate fast to break out. This is going to be specific to your life, but I know God is going to give us some powerful words, powerful testimonies to lead us into this breakout season. We're about to break out of a lot of different things, okay? Some of us are breaking into our purpose. Some of us are breaking out of some, some heaviness, some things that we've been in. The only way we can break out that we got to lead ourselves into a fast. We got to go into that fast. So I want to talk to you today about my Esther fast testimony. And you guys realize I have been doing Esther fasting way before I ever put it on YouTube. Okay. Before I ever even realized that this is something I need to share with God's daughters, I already was doing this thing. And I want to tell you this specific one I want to share with you. There was, I've done a lot, but this one stood out to me a lot. And the most, I remember I was getting ready to pursue a new venture for my life, okay? And when I say I pursue a new venture, I mean specifically, I was getting ready to transition. So at the time I was living with my parents, I felt the Lord telling me to move to the city, go back to school, and continue to move forward with my ministry. And this right here was really hard for me to believe because at the time, I didn't have enough money. I was still living with my parents, so I thought I was gonna move to a city, get an apartment, go back to school, try to finish out a bachelor's. Like, it all just seemed so impossible. But I wanna tell you, I fasted. I did a three-day fast because I was believing God was breaking me out of the shackles of where I've been. I did a three-day Esther fast, and in the book of Esther, they did no water, no food. But me, I do my Esther fasting with water, just based off my lifestyle, I'm still working, I'm still running around, I'm still moving a lot, and sometimes I can feel really low, low, low energy. So having water or even some tea, herbal tea, can be very helpful on a fast. So that's what I was doing on this particular fast. And I wanna tell you, by the finishing of those three days, I had to go to this particular apartment complex. I got approved for the apartment on the spot. Um, not only that, I got availability for the apartment when they just told me on the phone the week before there was no availability. Um, and it was just such a God-led moment that it blew me out of the park. And I gotta ask you this, daughter God, when was the last time God has left you speechless? I wanna tell you, there were seasons in my life. I remember moving, getting that apartment. I remember standing in this office space and, and realizing, looking at the build out, like, oh my gosh, this is not possible. And realizing the man was like, it's yours. Okay, it was possible. I wanna tell you, when was the last time God has left you speechless? And if it's been a long time, girl, you are due for a breakout. You are due for something to finally break you out and break through. And I wanna tell you, if you have been pressing on a door for so long, let me give you an example. If you have been, I, I lived at my parents' house for years, pressing on the door, God, when am I gonna get out of here? When is this gonna change? When is, are, if you've been pressing on that same door for year after year, or you've been still standing there, you're still pressing on a door that has not moved for you, sis, it's time to fast. Because I was there for years, pressing on a door that with a fast broke through in three days, okay? I wanna tell you, if you fast, daughter of God, you will see the things that you've been fighting against and pressing on that will not move. The fast is what's gonna move it. And I got you to realize, a fast does not move God. It just moves you out of God's way to do what he needs to do. Because sometimes we have our views, our plans, our heart posture, 
our ego, our whatever, all in the way. And God is sometimes just saying, if you give me your heart and we move this thing out the way, girl, I will open up doors for you. And I want to tell you, this is not based off of works. This fasting is not based off of works. It's based off of faith. So if you're like, man, I can never get through a fast. I always struggle with the fast because you're trying to do it in your own strength. I'm trying to tell you, I have fasted for years and I fast a lot. And I know when I'm doing a fast in my own strength and when I'm doing a fast through the power of the Holy Spirit. When I'm in the power of the Holy Spirit, I can get through a fast. It ain't that hard on me. It ain't that mentally draining on me. I have energy. I'm, I'm on, I have a zeal for the Lord during that fast. But when I'm doing it in my own strength, I'm struggling. I'm battling. I want to tell you, if you have been pressing on doors and you have not been able to get them down, girl, it is time for God to leave you speechless. It is time for you to break out. I want to invite you to join me on this corporate fast because God is trying to break us out of some things. And I want to give you this other testimony. When I was moving to that city and I, I remember I said, okay, God, I'll go. I'm scared, but I'll go. But I, all I ask is that you give me a nice apartment where I feel safe in a good community. I said, also, Lord, I pray you give me a pink couch. I want a pink couch that I can record videos on to inspire your daughters. And you know what? I got the apartment and I got the pink couch. And God said, I set it up nice for you so you can do my purpose. So daughter of God, some of you are going to be breaking out this season in your purpose on a new level. God is going to start giving you blessings blessings that's actually for your purpose see I was thinking the pink couch was for me but really it was for my purpose I was thinking the apartment and the city move was for me but really it was for my purpose I was thinking going back to school was for me but really it was to lead me more into my purpose I want to tell you right now some of us are getting ready to break out into purpose on a new level some of us are getting ready to break out out of the fear and the chains of what's been holding us back and restricting us some of us getting ready to break out into new places and relationships some of us is getting ready to break out in a new faith and a new vision and a new zeal. Some of us is getting ready to break out, daughter of God. So if you are somebody who feel like you've been pressing on the door for years, you've been pressing on, God, when is this going to change? I need a new reality. You know, it is time for you to fast and to pray. And so I want to ask you, girl, join me. If you're willing to join, put it in the comments. I'm going to join you. Invite a friend because, girl, you don't know how big your life can change when you just press through. And I think the reality is I didn't always feel like God left me speechless all the time until I stepped out on faith. So even the fasting was a step of faith. Even saying, God, I'll go apply for the apartment was a step of faith. Even saying, God, I'll go and just look at the car because my car was breaking down. I'll just go look was a step of faith. I want to tell you right now, daughter of God, God just wants you to be willing to take a step so he can leave you speechless. God has better for you. God wants to leave you speechless, daughter of God. He has more and 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 more for you, daughter, if you allow him to leave you speechless. When was the the last time God has left you speechless? When was the last time where God blew you out of the park? I'm trying to tell you, I can tell you on multiple times when God has truly left me standing speechless because I knew this was not a work of Morgan. This was not something that I was just so holier and such a good girl that God blessed you with. No, no, this was just his grace. And grace is not based off of works. It's just because it's yours. There is words and promises he's spoken to you that is just based off of his love, that there's nothing you have to do for it. You don't have to strive for it. You don't got to fight for it. You just got to say, Lord, I'm available. So I want to encourage you, if you are available in this season, if you say, hey, I got through my fearless season, but there's still some things holding me back that I need to break out of. There's still some mindsets I need to break out of. There's something that God has needed me to break out of into a new life. Girl, go on this fast with me. You do not have to do it exactly how we're going to do it. I have a fasting God. Join me on this fast. You, have, you can modify it. If you can't go without food, if you're pregnant, if you're nursing, if it's too much on your life, Life, just start adjusting. Say, I'm going without social media. I'm going without the phone. I'm going without scrolling. I'm going without meat. I'm going to go without sweets. I'm going to go without this. And just start giving that back to the Lord. Dedicate your heart back to God and watch what he does. I'm speaking from such a place as ill because, girl, I've, I've experienced it. And I'm excited because I'm like, God, if you're calling me again to lead this, what you about to break me out of? Girl, if God is calling you into a fast, he's trying to break you out of some things. He's trying to open up some doors. 
He's trying to transition some things. He's trying to get you to a place of faith and no longer standing in fear. He's trying to get you to a place where you don't resist his love, but you embrace his love. He's trying to get you to a place where you don't resist your purpose, but you embrace the purpose God has for you. Daughter, it is time for your breakout. It is time for your breakout. So if you are wanting to fast with us, it is a corporate fast from August 7th through the 9th. Sign up. We are going to be doing daily devotionals. We're also going to do at the end of it on the last day, we're going to do a prayer call on Zoom where we're all going to come together on Zoom. I'm going to pour into you. We're going to pray together. We're going to talk and we're going to finish out our fast in faith, girl. I'm believing that God can do it in three days. I have watched him do mighty things in three days. So daughter of God right now, I'm praying for you. But I want to tell you, I have so many, like I have so many testimonies about the Esther fast. Okay, girl, Lord have mercy. I did the Esther fast and before I knew it, I had a scholarship to move back to campus and God just moved things around for me. That was so beautifully. And that's the first moment I ever realized, oh, there is power in fasting. I want to tell you, Jesus said, some things can only come out with prayer and fasting. Some things can only move. Some things can only shift. Some things can only change with prayer and fasting. So daughter, if you need a shift, if you need a change, if you need a transition, if you need a new reality, if you need a new hope, if you need a breakthrough in this particular thing, if you need to see a transition in your life, daughter, if that is you, fast and pray. So I invite you. I hope you sign up, girl. The link is in the description box below. Hopefully, girl, you enjoy this and I would love to see you on our Esther fast for August 2023. This is not how we usually do it. We usually do it once a year at the beginning of the year, but the Lord said it's time to fast again. It's time to do another corporate fast. The daughters need this. It's time for me to leave them speechless. I love you ladies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out that link in the description box. Invite a friend and I'll see you in my next one.